Hi, Kirk here from Aero Precision. Today we're going to be talking all about how to disassemble and reassemble your Aero Precision adjustable gas block. There's a few different reasons you may want to do this, uh, basic cleaning and maintenance, and sometimes people just take them apart by accident and aren't sure how to put them back together. So today we're going to go over all that in depth and give you a better understanding of how your Aero Precision adjustable gas block actually works. So before we get started, we're going to kind of go into the anatomy of your adjustable gas block. Down on the bottom here, you have your set screws. That's how they attach to the barrel. That's not really any different from any other low profile gas block that you may use. Up in the front here, that's kind of be where all the magic happens. This is your adjustment screw. This is what's responsible for restricting that gas flow in the gas block itself. And this is where we're going to be focusing on for the assembly and disassembly process. So if you take this supplied hex key that comes with your Aero Precision adjustable gas block and stick it in the front here and then turn it counterclockwise, that'll actually loosen it and that's what's going to allow us to take the whole thing apart. So you're just going to give it some counterclockwise turns. You'll hear it clicking and then it stops. And that's going to be dependent on how tight you have it um, when you remove this from the rifle. And then you give it a couple more turns. The reason it's not clicking now is because it's no longer engaged with that detent, but there's still some thread engagement there. So we get that backed out all the way, and then we should be able to just pull. And that'll pop right on out. And you gotta be careful here because your detent and spring are gonna wanna go all over the place. Cool. So we got our Detent and spring there, and those are gonna be what provide those audible clicks and keep this adjustment screw in place. So now that we have everything disassembled, the reassembly process is super easy. You're gonna to wanna to take note of that little hole right there. That's where the detent and spring are gonna sit. So we're gonna start with our spring, and we're gonna drop that in there first. They're a little hard to hold on to, but get that dropped in there just like that. I'm gonna use this tool here to get it lined up. Boop, fall right in there like it's supposed to. Then we're gonna put the detent over the top of it. You're always going to want to do it in that order because that detent is what's going to engage with your adjustment screw. We're going to take the adjustment screw, we're going to push in past that detent and spring just like that and it's going to bottom out on those threads there. You will notice that the start of the threads don't have these little gutters in them like it does towards the front of the adjustment screw. These are what engages with that detent and spring. So as you start to thread this in, you're not going to hear any audible clicks. But once we get down into those interrupted threads, you will get the clicks, which will tell you you installed everything correctly. So get that going. And then you hear that, we get those audible clicks. So that shows us that we installed everything the way we were supposed to. And you're gonna wanna screw this in to the point where it does click like that and it is in that audible range. Otherwise, that detent spring aren't gonna be doing anything to keep this screw in place when you're shooting. So if you're hearing those clicks when you're adjusting it, you're good. For more instructionals like this one, please visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to purchase your very own Aero Precision adjustable gas block, visit us at our website, aeroprecisionusa.com.